friends, it's me, Noelle. If you are new here, thank you for checking this out. Welcome, my name is Noelle and I am an actress. And on my channel, we talk about things related to performance. And so today we are going to be talking about my five favorite costumes that I have had the privilege of wearing on stage. So if you like this video, please give it a like or um, subscribe. It helps me with the YouTube overlords. So that being said, let's get started. So we're gonna go in reverse order. So number five on my favorite costumes list is from a show I did in high school. It ranks in at number five, even though I was so giddy wearing this because I only got to wear it for a very short period of time in the show. This is this lovely teal dress here I wore in my high school production of The Games Afoot by Ken Ludwig. I loved this dress. I wanted to steal this dress. I thought it was gorgeous. I loved the color. I loved the way it fit me. I loved everything about it. Only problem was, uh, I only got to wear it for one scene. And it was super cute. It was so cute. I loved wearing this dress. They did, in our, our rendering of it, they had me have a sweater on over it and like this hat. And it wasn't as cute that way. But the dress itself still spoke to my soul. So it gets a sword on the list. Number four is also from high school. Ooh, what do you know? When I was in high school, I was in a production of Blythe Spirit by Noel Coward. And um, in this one, I got to wear some interesting clothing. The costume piece that was specifically my favorite in this was my Act 2 outfit, uh, which I will insert a picture of here. Um, this dress was so like silky smooth, satiny, gorgeous, and I just thought the print was so cool. I was playing a psychic medium, and this was her like house call scene where she came to the home after the seance had taken place and everything had sort of gone awry and um she eats a bunch of cucumber sandwiches and oh this dress I loved this dress I loved the way it fit and it was so comfortable it was so smooth and comfortable and I just loved everything about it Honorable mention to my costume for the rest of this show for Acts 1 and 3. Um, it's a lot. A lot is happening with this one. Um, she is, she's having a moment. Madame Mercati is really an out there sort of woman. So I, I can see why we went in this direction. Um, there were so many layers to this costume. It had, I think, seven layers. I was a seven layer dip of a person. And there was one night that the air conditioning unit had broken in the theater. And so <laughs> I thought I was gonna die of heat stroke. It was so hot. They were handing out waters to the audience. And here I am in seven layers under tons of stage lights. And I was like, Ugh! there was one point actually, um, when I was not on stage that I went and stood outside and like stood in the breeze trying to cool myself and dry my sweat. It was so hot. There were so many layers upon layers upon layers in their costume. And, um, but you know, it's kind of a look. Number three. Well, this is six. Number three. This costume comes from a show that I absolutely despise. I am sorry to anyone who disagrees with me and who I may offend by saying this, I I don't like Seussical. I really don't like Seussical. I feel like it's just like Dr. Seuss vomited all over the stage. It's, the, the plot is not really a plot. It's just a conglomeration of, of Dr. Seuss. And I just, I don't particularly enjoy it. But that being said, my costume in the show was really cute. <laughs> so I played Mrs. Mayor in a production of Seussical and um, that's the mayor's wife in case that's not obvious by her name. And um, my costume was super cute. We would we were joking that I was the Hillary Clinton of Whoville. Um, Cause look at this, isn't this cute? I loved the skirt, the way the skirt fit and the way the skirt moved. Oh, I loved it. They sewed it to my proportions and I was like, Oh, this is beautiful. I loved that skirt. Um, 
and I just, I think it worked. I think it was an effect, a very effective costume for the show, even though show is not my personal favorite. And I think they did a really nice job with this. Um, I thought the costumes for this production as a whole were very good. Um, a plus. Number two. Now, this show was a little strange, <laughs> if I must admit. Um, this show was called Medea and Medea for Medea. It was a show I did in college, at my college, and I played one of the Medeas, and it's like the Greek story of Medea, but told through the vein of Thelma and Louise, you know, the film Thelma and Louise. I was Medea, but also Thelma. I was Thelma. All my lines came directly from the movie, except they were changed Instead of going to Texas, we were going to Athens, and there was also a Greek chorus. It was, it was a lot. Um, but my costume in this show, woo, baby, um, it made me feel like a Midwestern farm wife and a Greek goddess all at once. This thing was super cute. I love the way it fit me. The fabric, they dyed by hand. They were all cut from the same cloth. They were all, it was all hand dyed. This was a student-designed costume, and she created all the costumes, actually, and I thought they were all pretty neat, because everybody's costume was similar, but they were all different, you know? They were all made from the same fabric, but they all had their own different design elements, and the two Medeas that were Thelma and Louise, ours had a little added element. We had little corset pieces that the ensemble didn't have, um, and I just, there was a lot of thought put into the characterization. I thought it was cute. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really effective in telling the story. And here we are, the moment you've all been waiting for, my favorite stage costume thus far in my theatrical career. Shall we, shall we have a drum roll? In this case, it's a, a thigh roll. My number one favorite costume from my career thus far would be from my college's production of She Kills Monsters, written by Kim Nguyen. I love this costume. Oh my god. When I saw this costume... I need a moment. <laughs> so, I was working in the costume shop, or volunteering in the costume shop at my school because I was taking a costumes class. And I saw this skirt on one of the dress forms. And I was like, oh, Nicole's so lucky. She gets to wear that cute skirt. Cause I thought that it was for her character for some reason. Cause she was, she was the lead. Nicole was playing Tilly. And I was like, yeah, that's definitely Tilly's costume. No. The cute skirt was for me. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, oh, I get to wear this. And then, then I saw the rest. And oh my God, they, the, the amount of detail they put into this costume. I was playing a sexy barbarian lesbian woman um, with a big ax. And I loved her. Um, <laughs> I loved playing her. Uh, it's not the part I originally wanted, but in the end, I had a lot of fun with it. The show is set in like a Dungeons and Dragons fantasy world mixed with reality. And so I got to play myself as the demon queen with the axe and also as the 17-year-old closeted shy girl. Um, <laughs> so the costume had all these elements of... Dungeons and Dragons of this role play, you know, and I thought it was so neat. They actually had problems with the costuming during this production because some people were not satisfied with their costumes. Meanwhile, I was over the moon um, and I tried to be as polite about that as possible, you know, but um, there was actually a discussion had because my costume was way sexier than the other sexy sidekicks costumes, so they had to amp hers up because mine was already so like va va boom. Um, what else to be said about She Kills? I love this costume, and they actually let me keep it. 
<laughs> I was going to ask to buy it off them because my college would do that sometimes. Uh, and then one day I went into my costumes class and the girl who designed the costume, and she did a fantastic job. I she, she turned me into the Dungeons and Dragons demon queen of my own dreams. She was like, hey Noelle, do you want to keep your costume? And I was like, yeah, I want to keep my costume. So they let me keep it and it's in my closet right now. Um, I really love it. I think part of the reason they let me keep it is because they altered it so much to fit me. Um, I'm not, I'm not that big of a person. And so I'm pretty, I'm pretty short. And, um, they had to alter the top to fit me better. They shortened the straps considerably and, um, made everything pretty skin tight. So by the time they were done with it, what, I don't know, it just, it, it was meant for me. It was, it was molded to me at that point. Um, I don't know. And I also, what are the odds they're going to do another show with this decked out, studded, leathery, corset like outfit you know not not terribly high <laughs> so they let me keep it and uh i love it should i show you i still have it one sec so i have it on this hanger here this has come off a little bit i can tack that back down no problem but this was my my costume, this is the top. And then this was the cute skirt that I was talking about. And there's also this piece that's hanging on, not very, yeah, okay, yeah. It wasn't really on here very well. This overskirt with like these jagged edges and these studs and oh, oh, how I loved it. Oh, how I love, I still love it. And the top also has this piece attached to it this was like a shoulder guard um, that I wore on my axe arm. <laughs> and I just felt so badass in this costume. I felt so fierce. I think it enhanced my performance. It enhanced how I felt, you know, just in the character and in life in general. I'd, I could wear this all day long. I, I, maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. This has been my top five favorite costumes that I've gotten away on stage so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like, subscribe, and maybe come back to see more on my acting journey. And I hope to see you soon.